Hello Virgo, Elsie here to do your reading and it is not for the week ahead this time. It is for 2024. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Thanks so much for um, clicking here. I appreciate you Virgo and all the ways that you've been loving on this channel this year. Thank you so much for doing that. Being in the comments, your likes, your shares and your subscribes. It all makes a difference in building this Virgo tribe. Thank you so much for doing your part and um, I'm just here trying to do my part. We are going to read for love, uh, career and finances. I'm going to give you a peek into 2020 24, an overview view of the year to see what is coming up for you. Let's take a look at it, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for my earth cousins. I am a Taurus sun, by the way. So thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at love for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. What's coming up in 2024 for Virgo in love, please? Virgo in love. Tell me about Virgo in love. Tell me about Virgo in love. Oh. Virgo, we have a secret admirer about. Look at that. All right. We have secret admirers. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on, my friend. We have look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. This is very interesting energy here. So it feels like you do have a secret admirer. And for those of you whose intuition is on point, look inside yourself and examine why you feel this way. What are, the, what are the points of detail? Why do you feel this way? Do you have solid proof? Is it a feeling that you have? Because Virgo, you're kind of on point as it pertains to your, uh, your psychic energy, right? For some of you who are paying attention to it, Virgo is actually quite psychic. So we have um, look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way, that there might be a secret admirer wandering about. Very interesting. We'll go back and we'll get it with some tarot. We'll clarify it with some tarot. Let's talk about, in the meantime, your career. Let's find out what's going up, going on with your career in 2024 Virgo. Let's find out Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's going on for Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or Virgo. We have the loving woman. So, we have someone who has the body of a woman. It could be masculine or feminine. Keep, please keep that in mind because all of us, um, males, females, plants, animals, we all have fem feminine and masculine energy. So we could be looking at the body of a woman, someone who might have masculine leaning energy. This particular one has feminine leaning energy, but also has masculine energy. So the loving woman, to me, when I look at this, I see the Empress, I see Capricorn, um, Virgo, and Taurus. It's like abundance. It's earthly abundance. So it feels like for you, it feels like your career is about to take a turn into earthly abundance. It could involve a loving woman, someone who cares for you a lot, a mother, a sister, um, a grandmother, or it could be someone who is romantic, right? That introduces you to some something that has to do with your career. We do have transformation, I like it. So there is transformation coming in your career. Um, you might be changing careers. You could be ending something. Transformation is that. It is the ending of something. So something else can begin. And I just want to point out to you that she does have a scroll in her hand. She's learned a lot of things. You can see the, the purples and the pinks here. The third eye is open. This person has got a lot of information being downloaded to the to the crown chakra. You can see this world, this brand new world that in the back, all she has to do is walk the path. So she's already got the information she needs. The blue cloak she's wearing, blue is um, is the throat chakra. It's speaking aloud. And I feel like there is something that you're going to be learning this year that is going to expand or give you a lot of abundance as it, 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 as it pertains to um, of your career. All right. Did I read the bottom card of this one? I keep forgetting. Oh, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Ooh, somebody is your secret admirer, I think. Somebody is, um, either you are the secret admirer or someone is a secret admirer of you. Take it as it resonates. This is a general reading. All right, let's look at the finances here. What's coming up in finances for you? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Virgo and their finances, please. What's coming up in 2024 for Virgo, my Earth cousins? What do we got? Healing the finances. Look, that's coming out a couple of times so far in these readings I've done today. 
So you are healing the finances, my friend. We do have card number 13 again, which is transformation. We just saw this on the bottom of the deck. There's all kinds of transformation coming for you here. We, we are having, it says medical staff healing. Um, we have card number 13. One and three is a four. This is the year that you finally get stability in your finances. Look, it's been a rocky road since, since the pandemic. It's been a rocky road. A lot of people, their finances went sideways. Very quickly after that, we fell into uh, we fell into financial hardship. The economy is crazy. Some people are barely making it. I feel like if you're one of those people, that there might be somebody here who gives you some information about um, a career that might heal your finances. All right, we've got take a chance, a roll of the dice. Card number nineteen is the sun. There is some really good chance. That is coming up here you might take a risk but i feel it's one that you will that you will take with having all the information because when the sun is here there isn't anything you can't see there's no shadows there's clarity uh, there's growth so i feel like if you are going to take a chance or you're going to roll the dice i feel like you have all the information you need to do that i don't think you have anything to worry about all right <clears throat> let's take a look with the tarot let's figure it out Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's look at the tarot. Virgo, if you're interested in a private read, thank you for all the ways that you've booked this year. If you're interested in a private read, though, there still is room over at Wizio. You just click below this video on the more link and you will find your way there. All right, tell me about what's coming up in love, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have the Knight of Wands. Interesting. Knight of Wands is Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo energy in this general reading. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Fool. Somebody's taking a leap. I feel like you're going to find out who the secret admirer is. Or if you're the secret admirer, I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith this year. And um, I feel like you need to look inside yourself. And this is an educated leap. Right, So the fool is the one who takes the leap of faith. And um, if there is a chance, the sun is here. If you are taking a chance or a leap of faith, the sun is here. I feel like you'll be making a good decision because you see everything for what it truly is. We have uh, the Ten of Pentacles. So you could have fire in the chart possibly. We've got the king here, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But the king of wands is someone who is a go-getter, someone who goes to get whatever they want. Um, they use their fire and their passion to just go get it. They like the shiny thing. And um, I feel like with the Aries energy here that we've got energy of you maybe taking a leap into a long-term relationship this year. That's what it looks like, taking some sort of a leap. Tell me more. Tell me more about Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have the new moon. So possibly... The first new moon, I don't know when it is, but the first new moon in 2024 or on a new moon, possibly. But the new moon is a new cycle. It's a new chapter for you. So there's, we've got the fool and now we have the new moon. You might be taking a leap of faith around the new moon energies this year. Um, we have the four of swords. It's because of healing. I feel like you've done a bunch of healing leading up into this year. We have the ace of cups. Yeah, you are taking a leap of faith into some sort of a new, a new beginning, a new beginning that is full of love. And I think it's because you've taken the time to heal yourself this year. We have the healing, and I think it's the healing of the mind, the four swords, right? I feel like you've been healing your mind or how you feel about your perception of or how you look at the ten pentacles, the long-term relationship. we have for Virgo please we have the nine of swords we have the five of cups and we have the five of wands well if we're going to have fives there might as well be two because for me as a reader when one shows up it can be a little bit of hardship but when two show up it's quick change so I want to say that um uh that the nine of swords and the five of cups tells me that you worry about being hurt you worry about being taken advantage of, that someone's going to take advantage of your emotional energy. It also feels like you have some sadness and some worry as it pertains to relationship. 
I think that you uh, do a pretty good job with beating yourself up about it. It's like whatever, whenever something doesn't work out, it's automatically you start looking over yourself, and that's you, Virgo, right? You're constantly, you're constantly uh, looking at yourself, being critical of yourself, self-critical. But sometimes, you know, that works out in your favor, and sometimes it gets you stuck there. And I feel like sometimes you're hyper self-critical about the way that things go uh, in love. And so the Five of Wands tells me that maybe you beat yourself up about why you haven't taken the leap of faith yet. I'm going to say don't worry about it because I feel like something is coming in the new in the new year. It's sometime in 2024 that is a long-term committed relationship, very passionate, lots of desire. I know that's important as well. And uh, I feel like it happens around a new moon. Um, and it's because I feel that you let things go, usually because the new moons and the full moons, they follow about two weeks apart. It feels like you maybe let something go and then the healing takes place, the four of swords. And then the new moon comes in, which brings in the ace of cups, which ushers in the ace of cups. Now, I don't know when that when that will be and there will be many new moons in the new year, but it looks like there is something that is coming for you, coming forward in terms of love here. A secret admirer possibly or maybe you're moving forward to the secret admirer let's talk about uh, career so we've got this loving woman here tell me about the career and how this loving woman fits into the career energy here for for Virgo Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter you could be the loving woman this could be your loving woman and it could have something to do with your career path tell me more about this here We do have the King of Swords. I like that. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. It almost feels like you are making a decision, a decision that's best for everyone involved, and it's a cerebral thing. It has nothing to do with your heart. It, it doesn't have anything to do with emotions. It feels like you've been waiting for a long time for some sort of an opportunity to arrive for you to be able to have your own business or start your own business. We do have the loving woman here. The loving woman could be key to that. It could be somebody who encourages you. The loving woman could be a mother, a grandmother, a sister. Could also be a lover, somebody who is maybe the secret admirer. But it, it is somebody who is going to, uh, with compassion, with love, uh, this is someone who is very grounded and very abundant. They might be a business owner who's going to show you how to run a business or who is going to give you a business idea. But the ships that are coming in is the Nine of Pentacles. So I see this year being very lucrative in your career. You're going to find something that is going to suit you just fine and make you a lot of money, give you confidence, make you stable and sturdy on your own. It's something you can do by yourself. The Nine of Pentacles is usually someone who's doing it all alone. So I feel like you are going to be opening some sort of a business. The Nine of Pentacles is coming. The Three of Wands is here to say that. And I feel like you've already got an idea or you're thinking about it or somebody here gives you an idea. We've got the Chariot. Look, Cancer is really good in business. You might have a Cancer placement, maybe you don't, but... You might have a cancer placement. We do have uh, the two of wands. So I think that what's going on here is that you're at the you're at the crossroads of what you want to do. It's time to make a really big change, and I think a really big change is coming up as it pertains to your your uh, career path here. Um, you are at the crossroads. You're like I could go this way or that way, but I need to make a decision and go. It feels like you're probably in a job or a career path right now where you're not necessarily happy with it, that you feel stuck to it. You feel like you have to work. You have to work for these people so they'll pay you. It's like a codependent relationship. It's like the only reason I go into that job, Elsie, is because they give me a paycheck at the end of the day. And I feel like it's, it's, it's uh, something that has been like a monkey on your back for a while. But you're at the, at the crossroads here at the Two of Wands and it's time to make a decision. It's time to make a decision about what you're going to do in terms of passion. But I want to say that this isn't a decision that you will make hastily. It's not a decision that you're going to make January 1. We do have uh, three wands and two, which is five. It's a little bit of indecision, right? We've got five wands here as well. So it feels like it's a little bit of indecision, a little bit of maybe there's too much competition out there. Maybe the maybe Maybe you think that 
you know, if it's maybe, I'm just going to say because that's what I do on YouTube, maybe YouTube is too saturated as it pertains to whatever it is I want to uh, make my business um, about. I feel like the, the chariot being here tells me, though, that you're charging for victory. Like, it's going to happen super fast. You're going to make a decision. And the devil's going to be here to throw a little, a little shade at you, right? To say, look, what are you doing, Virgo? You can't do this. You don't have the skills. You don't. That's the thing that's playing in your mind. It's the way you go over the details of the self and possibly being hypercritical, right? This is the devil is Capricorn energy. We have Cancer energy. We have um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here as well. We have the Knight of Wands. It's going to happen pretty quickly. Um, I don't know that it'll happen January 1 or even in January that, at all, but it feels like you are going to do something that is quite creative, something that really makes you feel excited. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's an excitement in the heart, and it feels like you're going to do whatever your heart desires, like you're going to run at the passion, I want to say. You're going to run at it passionately, passionately. Three, five, and six. That's victory. Six of wands is victory. It's also competition, but it's also a lot of people cheering you on. Cheering you on because I feel like you've been in a hard place financially up to here. It feels like one of the people cheering you on could be the loving woman. We have the ten of pentacles. This person is probably going to end up being your person, but I think it starts out as a business thing or someone who is advising you for business. Um, oh, this could be the person who is the secret admirer. Maybe someone's a little bit sweet on you, but it feels like this person is going to help you or give you an idea or give you some sort of information that you're going to retain, King of Swords, and you're going to take it forward to the Two of Wands, and it's, you're going to end up having victory here. Victory in the thing that makes you happy, full of fun, passionate. Look, you're going to be, you're not going to be someone who's going to have to follow the rules of others anymore. You're going to make your own rules. And whether you want to be stable or not in those rules is totally up to you. But I feel like it ends up in the Ten of Pentacles. Whether it's a relationship or money, I feel like it's a lot of money. Because I think that this is what you're thinking about obsessively. And I feel like that is going to end up being your manifestation. Whatever you think about, you bring about. And I feel like if you've been the one who's been obsessively thinking about opening a business and thinking obsessively about growing your pentacles, I feel like that's going to happen this year. I really do feel like somebody here is probably tinkering with the idea last year of maybe opening some sort of a business, but I feel like it comes to fruition this year and it's a good idea because it makes you a lot of money. All right. Take a look here at your finances because look the ten of pentacles is here i feel like i feel like it's a different day for your finances i want to say 2024 finances are going to look very different for you than they did in 2023 and i think it's because you're taking action you're at the crossroads you've decided that you are going to take advisement um, and, you know, the, the king of swords is the one who is the professional, right? The one who has all the answers, the one who is maybe the lawyer, the legal stuff, somebody who's going to be able to give you a lot of help it, as it pertains to career energy. Let's talk about what is coming up with you healing the finances. We do have the two of wands. So you're at the crossroads with the finances. What do I do from here? I need to stop doing something. Card number 13 is the healing. When we stop doing something, we end up healing something. You're making a really big decision at the crossroads here as it pertains to your finances. This is Virgo energy, Virgo and, and Piscean energy. And it feels like there is about to open up some something that you've had your eye on. I feel like you've had your eye on um, the finances but I feel like you haven't made the decision to now to really buckle down and make a decision, right? The two of wands is the decision. So I feel like you've had your eye on it. You've been wanting to do it. You can see it in the mind's eye. Fish and water are abundance. And so I feel like you are about to be quite abundant in your finances here. We've got the three of swords. Ah, the five of wands, okay. By the way, the Five of Wands, I think, is coming up twice now, three times. 
and we have the death card. So that's it, man. You're in five of wands here. We've got five wands here. Three and two is five. And then, there we go. You decide to be really sure about yourself. No more beating up yourself. No more going over the details and giving yourself a hard time about what should have, could have, things I didn't do. I should, no, no more. I feel like this energy here is what's coming to an end. Both of these are being transformed. Any sort of disappointment that you've had or you felt disappointed in the self, it feels like there's been sort of an argument going on within the self here. Um, yeah, you're really hard on yourself and that's the truth of it, Virgo. You've been really hard on yourself and I feel like it is, it's playing with your head. Um, the three of swords is, you know, we have three swords sticking into a heart, but the three swords are communications, connections. It's what's going on in the mind that affects the rest of you. And so I feel like what's coming to an end here is the disappointment that you have about yourself. And I think it's really important that you realize that what's coming to an end is doubting yourself. That's what it feels like. There's no more doubt here. You're just moving forward, and one and three is four. It's stability. You're going to have stability in your finances. But first, there has to be a transformation, and that is you need to stop picking on yourself about what you should have, could have, what you didn't do, what you could have done, what you should have done. I think you need to stop doing that. So we have the eight of swords. We have the queen of swords. Look, the queen of swords is holding the sword up to the eight of swords, saying, look, it's enough. <laughs> It's enough. I'm liberating myself from the Eight of Swords. It's enough. I'm going to stop obsessively thinking about everything that could go wrong. And we have these two culprits here, right? The Three of Swords and the Five of, of Wands. And I feel like you're going to, the Queen of Swords is you standing up and saying, look, it's time to, it's time for me to liberate myself from the Eight of Swords. I can't keep, um, I can't keep myself stuck here any longer. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. This has been going on for a really long time. So I feel like there is a transformation coming. Things are about to speed up as it pertains to finances. We do have your energy here, Virgo. Things are moving really slow, but I think they need to move really slow. It's the only way you're going to be comfortable with it, right? Going over all the details. You're the, you're the numbers guy, right? Or girl. <laughs> and uh, we have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like the Queen of Swords is, it's almost the Queen of Swords is holding up the sword in protection of the Knight of Pentacles, saying, look, it'll take me as long as it takes me, and you don't got to do it January 1. It'll take you as long as it takes you. Don't hurry it. It feels like first must come the liberation. You need to get yourself out of the overthink tank here. You need to get yourself out of this energy of of uh, being hard on yourself, really hard on yourself. You need to make a big decision to look at the Ace of Cups for what it is. It's a new opportunity. It's an opportunity you're just going to love. You're going to love it from head to toe. And I feel like the only way that you get that is if you get out of the Five of Wands. Woo! There we go. Something's about to change, my friend. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. It's a realization that I can start any damn time that I want because I'm the magician. I can do what I want with this pentacle. And I think that once you once you put it in the ground, I feel the realization comes that, that things are never going to be the same once you plant this pentacle. It's going to change your life. That's what the Ace of Pentacles does. And look who's here. The King of Pentacles. That's who you become. That's who you are. <laughs> and the Sun. You see clearly how to get the stability, how to make abundance, how to keep abundance. You become the Midas touch. Because this king doesn't have to ask for opportunity. This king doesn't even have to look at it. It just appears. Like out of nowhere. A shocking appearance of an Ace of Pentacles. It's an opportunity that's coming for you to make money. Make generational money. Generational wealth here. All right. I'm going to leave that where it is. Uh, you can know that if you go through some great big tower financially, I feel like it, it clears away the debris for all of this beautiful stuff, for your stability and your ability to be able to heal the finances. Making this big decision, this, this justice card that's here I'm snuggled up next to the Ace of uh, Cups, I feel is, is the beginning of it. You make a really big decision at the Two of Wands and it changes your life.
All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and all the ways that you love on this channel. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm going to go for now and I'll be back because I'm always back. But Happy New Year to you. Thank you so much for coming out here and watching. I'm out. Bye-bye.